Uh, this morning, I uh, brought together a terrific group of people from around New England to talk about what's, what's clearly going to be the conversation of the next several generations, which is how do we move to a more clean energy and efficient uh, economy, one that is sustainable over the long term. Uh, so this is my graphic. It's a little bit complicated, I heard. <laughs> so um, I have one burning question for Pia. I see a question over there. When uh, a student goes into an apprenticeship program with a company and they're part-time in school and part-time as an apprentice, does the company receive any payment from the government for providing that opportunity? Uh, no. What we tell young people is that if you like to work in the renewable energy fields via dual vocational training, choose a company which is working in the sector already. This training center that delivers worldwide. We heard downstairs about the dual system, this idea that hundreds of companies and other employers would come forward and allow people to simultaneously be paid to work and then learn. One of the things I learned is that the dual system requires employer engagement. We understand that we have an obligation as employers to reach out and work with the students, work with the educational community, that even if we don't have a dual system here, that we can try to bring some of those aspects and benefits to the American culture. Could innovation take us to that point where there would be a business model without government engagement? But markets usually do not take into account the externalities. Therefore, we do need government engagement such that the incentives are aligned in an appropriate way for the different stakeholders. Vocational training is an, an extremely important element of this. There's also the, what I like to refer to more as the soft skills of cultural issues, language issues, communication, which especially in the very leadership, communication, knowledge of the world around you, critical thinking, teamwork. Um, did I mention communication? <laughs> I think the first message that we need to talk about to talk about where America is going around clean energy is we have to find our own stories. It's really interesting in how institutionalized the German system in particular is in terms of industry and investment, um, largely based on how big of companies they have in energy, and particularly wind energy, so that's been a real driver for them. It's something that we lack in terms Renewables of... Renewables are just at the, at the tip of what we're going to need, and historically we're right at that sliver which is why when I talked about across the street, this idea of attitudinal offsets, uh, uh, offsets are huge. When we take a look at um, why we need those attitudinal offsets, one of those is the geopolitical, one of those is the personal advantage, uh, personal financial benefit, and then the benefits to society, but also we have some pretty serious things that are happening to us.